Real facts about shark attacks. For many years, sharks have been creatures related to terror and deadly attacks on anyone who decides to enter the sea. Although they are not friendly animals which we can deal with, we can approach to a few species without fear. There are more than 450 species of shark identified now, and only about 30 of them are considered dangerous to humans. Here are some real facts about shark attacks that give us a better perspective. From 2007 to 2016, there were 766 shark attacks registered, and 2015 was the year with the highest number with 98. This is on average less than 80 each year worldwide. There were probably more, but we only include the reported incidents. In total, 61 out of those 766 ended in the death of the victims. In that same range of years, from 2007 to 2016, the sites with most attack reports were South Carolina with 39, South Africa with 41, Hawaii with 65, Australia with 139 and Florida with 244. Most attacks occur in waters very close to the coast or between sandbanks. This is because their prey usually converges in these areas. There are three types of unprovoked shark attacks. The first is known as hit and run attack, because the shark confuses a surfer or swimmer with a natural prey, probably sea lions. When the shark notices that it is not a known food, it goes away, but the injuries that inflict to the person can be severe, although generally, they are not fatal. The second is sneak attack. This kind of attack is usually experienced by scuba divers or deep sea swimmers who do not realize the presence of the animal until they are hit several times before receiving the lethal attack. This encounter is characterized because the person receives multiple bites from the shark, which in most cases ends up killing its victim. The third is called bump and bite attack. The shark circles and bumps the victim before biting. While it is believed to be a test bite, Usually the swimmer enters in panic, and his reaction triggers more bites that will put his life at risk. The species that attack humans more frequently are the great white shark, tiger shark, bull shark, mako shark, oceanic white up shark and blue shark. Usually, fatal attacks are the result of a combination of significant blood loss and high levels of stress. The risk of being attacked when going to the sea is slight, but it is always useful to follow some simple recommendations. Stay close to other people, as sharks choose to attack single individuals. Do not approach fish banks or swim near sandbanks. Avoid entering the water at night or during the twilight hours, as they have a lot of activity at that time. Avoid bright clothing and jewelry. The reflected light resembles the brightness of the fish scales, their primary prey. The olfactory power of sharks has always been questioned. Some believe that it is a myth their ability to smell blood from a great distance, but this is totally correct. It is, therefore, important not to swim when you have an open wound or in the case of women, when they are menstruating. If you are in a shark attack situation, the best is trying to hit the tip of its nose to scare it away. If the hit is not accurate and it returns, try to aim its eyes and gills, their most sensitive areas. Unlike other animals, playing dead does not work with sharks, it will only make things easier for them. Statistics show that more people die as consequence of tornadoes, home accidents and bear attacks than from encounters with sharks. Sharks have a bad reputation and are thought to be human killers when in real life this is not the case. Humans kill at least 73 million sharks every year for taking their fins required in the gastronomy and traditional medicine of some countries, especially those in Asia. Follow us in the social networks. Twitter. Facebook. YouTube. Pinterest, Google+, Plus, SoundCloud and others. For more information visit bioexpedition.com.